Hey Saggies, welcome to the first half of November love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. For those who are new to my channel, I always go over my meditative session first, which is energy that I pick up in and around you. So it's energy you could be experiencing or someone within your environment could be experiencing, excuse me as I scratch my eye, um, or someone that you're energetically attached to could be experiencing and it is energy, so messages can be vice versa, okay? Saggy, I saw a couple things that I thought were very interesting. So first I saw someone making pudding. I don't know. Maybe you're getting a jump on holiday baking or something like that, but it was definitely making pudding look like vanilla. Could just be a vanilla pudding filling. Anyway, I don't know why I saw that, but I'm just telling you guys, okay? I'm just telling you guys. I do think a lot of you are getting a jump on your holiday planning, though. Saggies, you love to plan. You love to have a good plan. You like to throw a good party, okay? So some of you could just be getting your ready for your birthday or something of that nature, but I did get a lot of that energy coming in. Now, I also saw the rhino, which tells me that you're either going through a hard time or there's something that needs to be put to rest, something that requires a bit of strength and resilience to kind of work through and get over. Um, but you're gonna be fine, you're Sag. You're the eternal optimist, next to Pisces, of course. <laughs> next to Pisces, you're the eternal optimist. Um, now, the next thing I thought was really interesting, like you know how like when you're a kid in school and it's like if you wanna answer a question or get the teacher's attention, you have to like raise your hand. I saw a bunch of hands going up. <laughs> you could be a teacher, you could run a class or a seminar. So I just feel like a lot of people are trying to get your attention right now, but kind of like pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me, pick me. <laughs> you kind of have a lot of people vying for your attention or a lot of options. Like, hey, Saj, look over here, over here, over here. Um, I just heard chosen. Interesting. I just heard chosen. Um, Saj, you could. Okay. Getting a couple things here. Saj, I feel like for a lot of you, there is someone who wants you to choose them. Choose them. Choose them. And Sag, I'm getting this energy from you where it's like, again, it could be different groups, but like, I want to be chosen. Like, like I want someone to, to see who I am and just voluntarily out of wanting to be with me or wanting some this, that, or the other with me to choose me. That's interesting. I want to be chosen. I don't know why this is coming in so strong. I want to be chosen. Like I said, I was feeling it both ways. So like I said, energy can be reversed or vice versa. Someone wants to be chosen. Interesting. As opposed to what? Like, you know what I mean? As opposed to what? Um, not chosen? Like, I don't know. It's just interesting words that Spirit's giving me for that. Chosen. Someone wants to be chosen. Interesting. Okay. Oh, oh, thank you, Spirit. Not like obligated to. That's what it is. Not obligated to. Like someone wants to be chosen, not obligated to. Okay. Oh, very interesting. Okay, Sag. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and get into the pre-shuffle here. What flowers are those? They're showing me flowers. Um, those dandelions? I think those are dandelions. Yeah, they're showing me dandelions here. Okay. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, regarding love for the first half of November. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Oh, okay. <laughs> Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half. I just heard February. I, get it. I got that for another sign. I got that for another sign. I can't remember which one, though. I think it was a fire sign. Uh, for the first half of November, please. Okay. Closing forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those... A lot of cards. Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Sag, we have a four of cups. Can't Syrian energy with two of cups. Um, more Cancerian energy, also soulmate energy here. And then we have a five of cups in reverse, Scorpionic energy. Sag, I think you're over getting over getting rejected by someone or someone's getting over being rejected by you. Either way, this energy of an opportunity of a two of cups, someone's not, someone chose not to look at it. Someone chose not to go after it, but the other person's getting over it. Quite literally. Yeah, quite literally. One rejected, the other one's getting over it. Okay. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forth any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. Queen of Cups, and I just heard piano, the word piano. 
Someone can play piano here. Oh. Queen of Cups in reverse. Cancer energy could also be um, hmm, Pisces or Scorpio. Excuse me. Oh, someone's hurting in their feels. Someone's hurting in their feels, but almost called you Scorpio. That's funny. Sag. Sag, it look, like I said, someone rejected here and the other person is getting over it, but I don't think they're that over it, to be honest with you. Queen of Cups in reverse. This could be you. This could be the other person. Whoever claims to be over it is not exactly over it. Posing forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Let's see here. Nine of Wands just came out. Sag energy. Wounded Warrior card. Yeah, this person's not totally over it. Um, I feel like this person has kind of been through a lot. I feel like this is the person that was rejected who did not do the rejecting. The person who did the rejecting, are they still thinking about it? Oh, they, they do still think about it. They do still think about it. But this is the, for the person who claims to be over it. And I'm saying claims because this looks like someone who's very wounded still. Okay. Very wounded. Not super happy, but resilient nonetheless. Resilient nonetheless. But like I said, it seems like, you know, all these eight wands here, it seems like this person has been through it more than a, more than a few times of getting rejected here. Not necessarily by the same person, but just in general. And this person is really resilient because of it, but they're still wounded. They're still wounded for sure. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love. Really? Knight of Cups just came out. Piscean energy could also be water or fire, and it landed right on the Two of Cups. Hold on, put my, scoot my glasses up back on my face. Uh, yeah, it landed right on the Two of Cups here. Uh, Sag, I do feel like this is your energy, so don't shoot the messenger here. I do feel like this is your energy. Um, you might be getting an apology from this person. It's an apology. It's an offer of love. It's an approach. But you're, you're guarded for a good reason. You're guarded for a good reason. Please bring forward any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. For Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter for the first half of November. Oh, shit. Ten of Wands. Sag energy. Oh, this is interesting. This is really interesting. So, Sag, like I said, you, you're claiming to be over it. I'm just saying claim because it seems like you're still kind of hurt by it. You're still hurt by it, but not just that instance. Other instances as well, but it's made you very resilient in matters of the heart. I feel like you're still burdened by this and you're trying to work through that. At the same time, someone's coming in here. Someone's coming in here and it's all... Uh, it just... God, it doesn't feel good. It's like, how do I explain this energy? Um... It's almost like walking through mud, walking through tar, hanging their head low. Yeah, this person's coming back to apologize, Sag. And they're hanging their head low. They're very burdened and stressed out right now. They're at the 10, you're at the 9, okay? They're at the 10, you're at the 9. They know if they come your way. They know if they show their face again. That And look, see, I can just realize he's hanging his head low here too. Can't even see his face in this card. Um, that he's got a lot, He or she has a lot of explaining to do and also has a lot of work to do. See if anything else wants to come out and then we'll get started. Please provide any messages of truth, healing, and love for those who need it. <laughs> Ace of Wands in reverse here. Okay, this is an opportunity that has yet to reveal itself is what I'm getting with this. I don't feel like it's a loss of passion. I mean, I think you're pretty ticked off by this person because you're still hurt by this person. Okay, you're still hurt by this person. And plus the nine minus the ten is the is the one, right? The ace. The ace here. They're going to come in to try to get a new a new start with you, or at the very least, an apology. At the very least, an apology. But it is, I'm, I'll be honest with you right now, Sag, King of Swords at the bottom. They're going to deliver some truth, but it, it's not going to be an easy conversation. I can feel that. It's not going to be an easy conversation. Okay? All right. So let's go ahead and get started, Saggy. For those who are new to my channel and new to tarot, please know these messages are very, very general. Messages come through for those who need to hear them, as you heard me set the intention already. We are working with energy, so like I said, messages can be reversed or vice versa. If it's resonating with you, you already know who you are, so if you have to switch the roles, that's okay. It still resonates. Um, also, don't try to make it fit. Don't try to shove the puzzle pieces of this into your life, <laughs> okay? If it's not resonating, it's not resonating, and that's okay. It's not going to resonate for everybody. There's no way in hell it ever could, all right? Um, also, guys, we are working with energy, so just know that, um, you know, energy's energy. We're not reading gender, so don't get hung up on the gender of the cards. 
And this is for the first half of November. But of course, whenever you're guided to watch a reading is when you're guided to watch it, even if it's a, from a year ago. Okay. Any other questions, curiosities, or confusions about tarot, my channel, or myself, go ahead and check out any of the links below. There's a lot of information down there. Okay. All right. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for the any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? They were showing me a horse, but I'm not surprised, Saggy. You're Saggy. I feel like this was representing your energy. Um, horse is an energy of freedom. It's also an energy of power. It's very regal. Uh, it's it's borderline royalty, but that's more like lion, right? Not your sister signed the Leo. Um, but yeah, horse is just an energy of power, regalness success freedom untamable rebellious it's really just your energy sag you could just really be tapped into your own personal energy a lot of this could also transpire during your season okay i think that's also why they should be that any messages for sagittarius regarding love for the first half of november Two of cups at the bottom again. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Now they're showing. Oh, what is that? Is that the it's, the? it's definitely the crescent moon. I'm trying to. Is it waning or waxing? The one that's like that. Oh, it's a mirror thing. I just realized. I think that's. I want to say it's waning. Waning crescent moon. That that period of time could be really important for you, Sag. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Oh, of course, the King of Cups. Scorpionic energy could also be water or, or air. I just heard fire, and you are a fire sign, and two of cups at the bottom here, okay? King of Cups. Is this this person's real energy? Mm. It almost feels like an, like, um, how do I say this? Uh, idolized? An idolized energy? Sag, this is what you've been wanting. You've been wanting a king of cups, male or female, doesn't matter. You've been wanting a king of cups, someone who is committed, someone who's loyal, someone who can really love you and really nurture you, right? Like the energy of like chosen, like I want to be chosen. I want someone to love me for all of who I am and to choose me. This is what you've been wanting. I don't know if that's this real, if that's really this person's energy or not. It feels a little funky. Okay, but let's keep going. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love? Of course, you could also be a cusper. Okay, you could also be a cusper. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Oh, that's a lot of cards. That's a lot of cards. Um, I don't want it to, yeah, I don't want to take all these. That's a lot. That was a lot. That was like eight cards. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Come on, Sag. Come on. Okay. Ace of Wands. Again, the Ace of Wands wanted to come out. You're going to be presented with the Sag. And, it, and most likely it's from someone who's already rejected you just based off the pre-shuffle energy. Doesn't have to be. King of Cups with Ace of Wands. I want to be excited with this. I really want to be. But there's something about it that doesn't feel right. It doesn't feel genuine or authentic. Especially because it is a wand. It's very phallic energy. It's very phallic energy. Like a King of Cups would normally come with like an Ace of Cups. And Ace of Cups or an Ace of Swords. I mean, Ace of Wands is, is also very nice. It's very passionate. It's just so phallic. And based off the pre-shuffle energy, it's like, who is really presenting this to you? You know what I mean? Let's see what else comes out. I don't want to poo-poo it just yet. Let's see what else comes out. Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Any other messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Oh, Queen of Swords in reverse. Aries, not Aries, Libra. Whoa, could be dealing with Aries or could have that in your chart. Libra energy could also be air or fire. I feel like this is your energy, Sag. Oh, yeah, yeah. See, you don't trust it. I knew something didn't feel right because it don't feel right to you. <laughs> it don't feel right to you. Look at this. Yeah, uh, you're not trusting this. You're not trusting this opportunity. You're not trusting this person. Okay, you're not. You're not trusting it. 
It's like your intuition is going off. Oh, I, oh, thank you, Spirit. They just showed me the owl. Yeah, your intuition's telling you something's not right about this, or it's not exactly what you'd want. Oh, magician in reverse, mercurial energy. So Virgo, Gemini, could also be Aquarius, Scorpio for me as a reader. Divine masculine energy. You're like, it smells like manipulation. It smells like trickery. That's what you're basically saying. It smells like trickery. Any messages for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November? Let's see. Overall energy, we do have the Knight of Swords. Gemini energy could also be air or fire. So like I said, communication, right? They're coming to you, Sag. They're definitely coming to you, presenting this, and you're like, I'm not buying it. <laughs> I don't trust that wand. I don't trust that shit. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Even in the pre-shuffle, they came across as a knight. Remember? They came across as a knight. Overall, a knight. And it's like, now you're suddenly a king with an ace? Like, what's going on here? And you're like, no, you're tricking me. You're tricking me. Yeah, your intuition's telling you something's up. For sure. All right, so let's go ahead and break this down a little bit. You only have four cards. It's only a four-card reading. So let's look at this Ace of Wands and see what they're really offering you. Okay, let's see what they're actually offering you here. Um, I kind of want to do Crystal Vision. No. Gilded. I haven't done Gilded a whole lot today. Let's do Gilded. So I have the Ace of Wands. For Sagittarius, regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the Ace of Wands. Time with the Ace of Wands. I just heard the word vulnerable. Sag, what is up with this person? They might be a little bit of a manipulator because I just got the word vulnerable. Why do I feel like they see you that way? They might see you as a vulnerable target right now. Time about the Ace of Wands. Time about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Time about the Ace of Wands. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, look, Queen of Cups. Remember, Sag, you were the Queen of Cups in reverse. Queen of Cups, Cancerian energy, could also be Pisces or Scorpio. Yeah, it's a true pair situation. But like I said, this is what they're offering you, right? They're offering this to you. Talking about the Ace of Wands. For Sagittarius, regarding love for the first half of November. Oh, yeah, Five of Pentacles, Taurian energy. Sag, they look at you like you're lonely. They look at you like you're down and out. They look at you like you're vulnerable right now. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like that energy whatsoever. And clearly neither do you. Okay? <laughs> neither do you. Yeah, I don't like this. Tell me about the Ace of Wands. Let's see here. Knight of Wands in reverse, Sag energy, could also be Aries or Leo with the Ten of Pentacles, Virgo energy. This is interesting to me because it's almost like, Sag, they look at you like, oh, Sag, I know you're going through hard times. I know you feel lonely. Like, what the fuck is that? Like, I know you feel lonely, Sag. And maybe you miss this person. Maybe you do. But you don't trust it. You really don't trust it. And I think that you're 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 right on the money there. Because Knight of Wands in reverse is a very unpredictable energy. But with the Ten of Pentacles, it's almost like they're telling you, Sag, I know you're here, but don't you want to be here in the Ten? Don't you want to be in the Ten of Pentacles? But it's not stable. It's not true stability. It, they're very unpredictable. Very unpredictable. Knight of Wands is in and out. And in reverse, they're really in and out. Okay? <laughs> they're really in and out. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. King of Swords in reverse. Aquarian energy could also be Gemini or Libra. My narcissist card. Also a card of manipulation. Yeah. And again, Sag, true pair situation. Okay, so yeah, they're a soulmate, but clearly they're they're just they're not approaching you the right way. I really don't like this energy. It's like it's so like who the hell do you think you are? You know what I mean? It's like I like like, they're literally looking at you, Sag, like, oh, poor Sag, you're so lonely without me. You're so down and out. Like, no, fuck you. Like, no, 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 no. Tell me about the Ace of Wands for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Overall energy, Nine of Pentacles in reverse, Virgo energy. Underneath that, we do have the Nine of Wands, Sagittarian energy. I feel like in all reality, they're not stable. 
Okay, I feel like they're actually the ones who are not confident. Sag, I feel like this is your energy again coming across as the Nine of Wands. They're approaching you in a Nine of Pentacles in reverse energy. The truth of it is, they're not very confident themselves. They're not on stable footing and they're not, yeah, they're not stable. They're not confident. You're very resilient right now. You're very resilient right now. And they want to come and act like they can offer you the 10. Look at their energy. Look at that shit. No. <laughs> a no. <laughs> no. Just no. No. All right. So, Saj, let's look at you. Not trusting this shit. I feel like you're actually giving them a talking to, to be honest. I feel like you might even be, like, yelling at them. Um, but let's look at the Queen of Swords in reverse. Um, actually, yeah, let's do Legacy. I haven't done Legacy in a while. Why about the Queen of Swords in reverse? For Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Talk about Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. I'm sorry, Sag, this was a little narky. It, it's feeling a little narky here. I just have to be honest. Talk about the Queen of Swords in reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Time with the Queen of Swords in reverse. I ha <laughs> ha. I knew this was your energy. Wheel of Fortune. Jupiter. It's Jupiter energy here, Sag. Yeah, your things are working out well for you. Things are working out well for you. There is no way in hell you're actually at the Five of Pentacles. There's no way you are. It's almost like they want you to think that you are. Again, sounds very, very narcissistic. Very narcissistic. But Sag, things are working out just fine for you, okay? It's just fine. Tell me about Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Let's see here. Full in reverse. Aries energy could also be Aquarius because it's a Uranus card. You're not biting. You're not taking the bait. Things are working out just fine for you. You don't need to take this opportunity. That's You already know. Sag, you already know. Your intuition is telling you everything you need to know. Tell me about the Queen of Swords in reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Now we've got, ha, wow, Temperance, Sagittarian energy with the Six of Cups in reverse, uh, Scorpionic energy. So again, you could be a cusper here, Scorpio and Sag right next to each other. Uh, so it could also be past life soulmate karmic energy. You've already done your healing from the past. You've been working through it. You've been working on it. Maybe you're not completely out of it. Maybe you're not completely over it, but you're doing just fine. Okay, you're doing just fine. You know this person did not do right by you. Even right now, like the way they're coming at you, it's like, again, who the fuck do you think you are? Like... <laughs> Like, like, no, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's such like an energy of like, I know you need me, Sag. Come on. Don't you want the 10, even though I can easily run out on you and just manipulate you anyway? Like, what the fuck? No, 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 no. Overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Virgo energy could also be earth or fire. I feel like this is your own energy too, Sag. I feel like you've been building and growing slowly over time. I think you've had a lot of patience with yourself. A lot of patience with yourself, especially when it comes to learning from situations like this or learning from dealing with people like this. You've had growth in your life and you're still growing. You're still growing and you're really enjoying yourself and you're really experiencing a lot more abundance and a lot more um, luck and fortune. You're not taking this person's bait. You're not doing it because you know better. You know better and you've learned and you're still doing that healing that you have to do with it revolving around this person. Okay. Now let's look at the Magician in Reverse where you're like, this smells like trickery. <laughs> this smells of trickery. Um, mm, yeah, I'm being drawn to the Crystal Visions. Let's do that one. Talk so about the Magician in Reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Talk so about the Magician in Reverse. For Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about the Magician in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. 
One more. All right. Tell me about the magician in reverse for Sagittarius. <laughs> Temperance in reverse. Saggy energy. Imbalance. Total imbalance. Yeah, I honestly, Temperance in reverse and magician in reverse, that, those are two energies that just support each other in very negative ways. Temperance in reverse can also be unfairness, things that are unjust, things that are karmically out of whack, like this person. <laughs> Tell me about magician in reverse. This is also someone who needs their own healing as well. Needs a lot of their own healing. Wow. Mm-hmm. King of Wands in reverse. Leo energy could also be fire or air. Yeah, this person is all about them. All about them. Hold on. Let me put magician in reverse in here too. Hi. They're all about them. And they've got it twisted as far as how you're doing and how you're concerned, okay? They've got it twisted, Saggy. Um, this is someone who's committed to themselves. They're not committed to other people. Also someone hard to really, really pin down here. Someone who likes to have a lot of control, a lot of control, because deep down they're really insecure. Why about the magician in reverse? For Sagittarius regarding love for the first half Ooh, of November. Talk about the Magician in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Tell me about Magician in Reverse for Sagittarius regarding love for the first half of November. Got two more cards out here. Three more cards. Let's see. Oh, Six of Swords in Reverse, Aquarian Energy, King of... Oh my God, all the Kings? Yeah, we've got all the Kings here. We have the King of Cups, King of Pentacles in Reverse, King of Swords in reverse, King of Wands in reverse. This person's really out of whack. Keep in mind, this is from three different decks, okay? King of Pentacles in reverse, Taurian energy could also be Earth or Air with the Six of Swords in reverse. This is someone who has no peace. No peace. They also can never be satisfied is what I'm getting. There's never enough. There's never enough for this person. Again, King of Pentacles in reverse is a very controlling energy as well. It's, it's Taurus shadowy energy. Kings are fixed energy. Any kind of shadowy fixed energy is going to be controlling. No shadow of a doubt, no pun intended, but very controlling energy. They can't have peace unless they have the upper hand, or unless they can control the situation. I'm also getting nothing is ever enough for this person. They just can't have enough. It's like, I need more, I need more, I need more, I need more. And on my terms, cherry in reverse, can't see energy. You're not going for it. You're not. You're not taking this person's bait. You're not committing to them. They're, they're not really all that committed to you anyway, Sag. They're really not. It's very clear. Nine of Wands in reverse. They're not. They're not committed to you. They're very unstable right now. And they see that you're rocking it and that you're really resilient right now because the wheel is turning in your favor. They know that. And they want a piece of that. You already know not to go for this, Sag. Overall energy, three of cups. Can't see an energy. Yeah, they want a reconciliation with you. But I'm also getting this person likes to party a lot. This person likes to be around people. They like to be in the party scene. They like the accolades too is what I'm getting. They like the attention. They really, really, really like the attention. But more than that, they want back in with you because of what you, what you got bleh, because of what you got going on, okay? Because of what you got going on, because the wheel's turning in your favor, because you're doing good and they're not. They're in a bad place. They're not stable right now. They're not stable. And just, and again, it feels very narky. Just like a narc would, they would project that onto you. Like you need them in a way. You don't need this person. And I know you don't need me to tell you that. Okay. All right, Sag, let's get some advice. I feel like I'm already know what it's going to come out. Well, let's go ahead and get some advice. Like you need it. I think you're handling this just fine. Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? 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 Any 
any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? See, Sag I'm like, I think you know how to handle this just fine. I don't think you need any advice, but let's just see what wants to come out, okay? Any advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? Hey. All right, so we've got, oh, very nice, Sag. Beautiful. Armadillo spirit with the energy of three. Set healthy boundaries. Eagle spirit. Sp bleh, spirit has your back. 23 breaking down to a five. So no matter what this person says, this is guarding against communication, guarding against people, okay? You are putting up boundaries with this person because you know better. You've, le you've learned. You've learned from dealing with this person and spirit is also helping you help helping to guide you through this. It's also a very protective energy as well, Sag. Um, very protective energy as well. And like I said, your own intuition is tipping you off about this person. You already know. You already know to put up walls and boundaries against this person, okay? Any other advice for Sagittarius regarding this spread? <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh my God, I freaking love it. What did I say about horse and owls? <laughs> freaking love it. Horse spirit, freedom is yours. Energy of 33, a master number. That's you, Sag. The epitome of you. To be free and untamed and uncontrolled. Okay, you're not going like, to let someone control you. You'll... You'll drop dead before you let anyone control you. Owl spirit, you see clearly now, 43, bring it down to a seven. You see that this person just wants to manipulate you to get what they to get what they need from you. And that's it. To get whatever their selfish needs are telling them that they need from you. Something that they can't do on their own because you're rocking it and they're not in a good place. You know that. Your intuition's telling you this. You're golden. You're golden, Sag. Oh, interesting. Otter spirit. You are never alone. 42, break it down to a six. This person, like I said, is a true pair situation. They're a soulmate, okay? They're definitely a soulmate of yours. There's also a card that comes out that reminds us that spirit always, ha always has our back. It's funny, I just realized it, the way I said that. Well, spirit has your back. Spirit always has your back here, okay? And that you do have a lot of love in your life and you do have people that will love you. Sag, I know that some of you were struggling with that energy that we were talking about earlier of, I just want someone to love who I am and to choose me. This is a connection you want, this kind of connection, to be chosen, to be loved unconditionally and equally, and it's not this person. You know that. You know that, owl, horse, whatever, <laughs> whatever. You know that the connection you're seeking is not this person. They're trying to present themselves like they are, and they're so not. Yuck. They're so not. They're just so not that. You deserve this kind of connection, Sag. This to person just isn't it, okay? Any advice for my Sagittarians regarding this spread? Any advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Another card out here. Any other advice for my Saggies regarding this spread? Oh, God, Sag, you guys got a lot of cards here. Oh, Dove Spirit, be peace. 21 breaking down to a three and co Crow Spirit, co-create with spirit 17 breaking down to an eight i'm just getting guides with the spiritual guides guidance and it's so funny it doesn't almost look like they're the extension of the tail right there that is like so cool the way that landed out um but yeah saggy you've got a lot of um guides around you your spirituality is on point your intuition's on point and that's giving you that peace of mind all right this is the kind of connection you want you can make that happen it's not this person it's not your intuition's screaming that at you you already know that. So you just have to go into manifestation mode um, to work towards this connection. And when the time is right, it will present itself. But it ain't It ain't this. It ain't this. And you're going to have a lot more peace in your life not dealing with people like this and putting up boundaries against people like this. And you already know that. You already know that. Overall energy, we have seahorse spirit. Watch and wait. 53 breaking down to an 8. This came out a couple times for different signs as well. Um, an energy of patience, which is the epitome of the temperance card, right? To be patient for this kind of connection, it's going to happen when it's supposed to. Okay, Sag, it's going to happen when it's supposed to, when the time is right, when it's best for you for it to happen. Okay, you might think, oh, I can have it right now. I can have it right now. There could even be a more prime time for you to have it. You might just need to do, take care of some other things first. Take care of other things about your life or for yourself before this comes in to enjoy. And until this comes in, you got to keep recognizing the false people and you're doing that. 
You're doing that. You're so doing that, okay? All right, Sag, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Don't forget to go on Patreon and Vimeo as well. I'll be putting the partner readings up at some point by the end of the week, but I hope you guys did enjoy this, okay? I hope you guys have a really great night, Sag. Namaste.